I get my inspiration from everyday life, from people I see, people I meet, and the stories I want to tell. Since I was a child, I was painting and drawing, but when I graduated high school, I went to the School of Visual Arts and worked professionally as an illustrator to pay my way through school. When I graduated the School of Visual Arts, I started doing sculptures, and that's when I was doing work that I showed in museums and galleries, and I got paid for it. After two failures from my first shows, um, my, my third show sold out at uh, the Hanson Gallery on 57th Street to Malcolm Forbes, who was uh, very, very well known for, from Forbes magazine, and he bought my whole show. So that was my first big break. To the people who think I'm an overnight success, what I have to say is I've been doing this all my life. I've been an artist since I'm three and started doing paintings on the floor with shoe polish. If I were to leave a message to any of my fans or followers or other artists, I would tell them that they should never give up. They need to really follow their dream, whether they do it full time or as a hobby. But um, if you don't do what you love, you regret never doing it. But if you do what you love, you never regret it and you never know where it'll lead you. So I hope that my message comes across and people follow their dreams and persevere. Right now, I have a piece in the Musée Milol in Paris in a hyperrealism show. I have a solo show in Saint-Tropez with seven sculptures outdoors along the water. I have two shows going on in Venice till the end of November um, in uh, conjunction with the Venice Biennale, one in the Church of the Pieta, known as the Vivaldi Church, and the other in Giardini outside of the Biennale. I also am preparing for a solo show in the Medici Museum in Ohio. And then right after that, in the beginning of December, I am having another solo show in Art Miami in Florida. I'm so excited. For the last two and a half years, I've become an author. And I wrote my autobiography. And my most recent uh, second edition of the autobiography, which brings my life up to date, just came out last week on my birthday, September 21st, and I'm waiting for it now. It's on Amazon, and I did it in Italian also because my work is shown a lot in Italy. What's next for me is that I met a wonderful curator because of my shows in Italy, and his name is Demetrio Paparoni, and he introduced me to the head of sales for Rizzoli Books. So I'm hoping to have a show um, with Paparoni, and he suggested either a show in Naples or a show in the Euphrizi, which is a bucket list thing, and to coincide with a book by Rizzoli. I'm also currently working on my foundation to set up a new show. We haven't had one since COVID. And my, my, my foundation inspires young people and supports artists that are under-recognized with shows and college grants. So that's a, a priority for me right now. And um, I'm looking forward to meeting new artists and doing one more exhibit.